I'm Alyssa Pena, and this is The Dailyo. We are broadcasting today from our new studio, which hosts our live shows at 5 on Friday. Some important news happening in Oklahoma. The Afghanistan refugees are heading their way to Oklahoma. We have Anna Pope, the Ocali news editor, here with us to speak on what's going on. Yes, yeah, so tens of thousands of refugees are already here in the nation, and Oklahoma is slated to receive about 1,800 of these refugees going through Catholic charities. Uh, there are two Catholic charities, uh, the eastern and western part of the states, and those two places are the only two authorized refugee resettlement organizations here in the state. So they are looking at where to put these refugees and where they can find available housing. And Stillwater is one of those places because we have a Catholic charities right here in Stillwater through Saint, uh, tr the St. Francis Xavier Church. So uh, they're just trying to find uh, places for them to be and hopefully Stillwater is a place for um, refugees to live. I hope so. I mean, this is some sad news happening in Oklahoma. I mean, what's going through your head, just all these emotions? I think right now um, everybody's heart is kind of saddened by the fact that these people have been displaced but also uh, this uh, conflict has been going on for so many years so hopefully Stillwater is just going to be a place for them to get their feet on the ground and put some roots down. Mm -hmm. Well our prayers go out to the Afghanistan refugees. The NFL kicks off its new season today with the Cowboys versus the Buccaneers. I cannot say I'll be going for the Cowboys today so go Buccaneers. We have Alex Dusky to talk about OSU football and the pregame show. Right, so OSU will kick off another home game this Saturday against Tulsa. Now, I'm not going to say OSU had a great win last week over FCS Missouri State. It was, a, it was a pretty close game, closer than a lot of Cowboy fans would have hoped or expected. Tulsa lost to their FCS opponent last week, so it kind of makes uh, creates an interesting dynamic between OSU trying to prove themselves and with starting quarterback Spencer Sanders coming back, with Tulsa trying to redeem themselves after a sort of embarrassing loss. Yep, uh, it was a hot one that day. That was my first college football game, but I had a great time. I hope you did too. I did, but it was very hot, and Saturday's game will be even hotter with, like what you said, the high of 103. And with that uh, 11 a.m. kickoff, the sun's going to be out in full force. Yes. So tell us a little about the pregame show. So the pregame show is a, another show on Ocali TV that will go live one hour before kickoff every week. So on Saturday, it'll go live at 10 a.m. I'm hosting along with um, three other very talented people. We got live shots at the tailgates. We're going to have some Big 12 um, going around on, on the league once the conference play starts. So it's a really great show, and you're not going to want to miss it. Thanks, Alex. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to read the Ocali at ocali.com and subscribe to the Ocali TV at ocalitv.com. Thanks for watching. Ocali TV, still water.